is going on everybody welcome back to another episode i hope you guys are having a fantastic day welcome back to the channel uh, i think i looked there's something only like 15 more days of school uh, left in the year so I'm super excited for the summer but i don't want to rush it too much because we still don't know who the 2019 stanley cup champion is and um, we'll figure that out in about two weeks time that will all start monday night and uh, we got some news about game one as well i'll tell you guys about in the uh, cup final preview tonight um, but congratulations to the St. Louis Blues on advancing to the Stanley Cup Final for the first time since 1970. I'm sure most of you guys know that in 1970, that was the same year uh, that Bob Yor scored the most famous goal in NHL history against the Blues in the Stanley Cup Final. Uh, so that's a bit of a coincidence. But I'm so super excited for the Cup Final. I'm sure you, you guys are as well. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to go down, hit the subscribe button if you guys want to catch all the content for the Stanley Cup Finals and the offseason as well. Um, without further ado, let's get into the episode. All right, so right off the bat, San Jose definitely looked like the better team. Coming out of game one, they had a demanding 6-3 win. Um, this was in San Jose. They had a lot of energy going into the conference finals for, um, I forget how many times it was and how many years, but the point the point is they've been to the conference finals a lot over the last couple years, and uh, they look strong uh, and a lot stronger than the Blues did. They came out, they were a more physical team, and um, you couldn't really tell that the Sharks were fatigued. Uh, you could definitely tell by the end of the season. Series. But game one, St. Louis looked like the more tired team, and San Jose kind of took advantage of that after game number one. 6 3 win. Loken Couture had another incredible game. I think it was another two goal game for him. And uh, even though the Sharks are out, let's give them a big congratulations to Loken Couture, who had one of the best. Um, playoff performances over the last decade. He was unbelievable for the Sharks, I think finishing with 18 goals. So uh, congratulations to Couture. Uh, another two guys who had a huge series for the Sharks, Brent Burns, Eric Carlson. Um, I don't think people realized how good of a series they did have. And they had a fantastic first three games. Game, game number two was more of an evenly matched game. Uh, this one, the Blues were able to get a must win uh, or a big win. I wouldn't say it was a must win, but it was definitely a big game for the Blues. They were able to capitalize on this and they got the win. Jaden Schwartz started off um, really hot with his ninth goal of the postseason. He had an incredible series and he's on incredible playoffs. That's one guy that the Bruins are going to have to watch out for. He had his ninth goal, started off very strong, and then they got another one off Vince Dunn from the point, a blast. Um, and then Logan Couture, we talked about him in the first game, he came back and uh, had another huge game. Two goals, tied the game up, and then St. Louis just didn't take their foot off the gap, gas pedal. They came out into uh, the third period with a 3-2 lead, and they finished them off. So um, Logan Couture, again, tried to carry the offense. The Blues didn't really, the, sorry, the Sharks didn't really get much offense from guys other than Logan Couture and Tomas Hurdle, who was actually injured for game number six. Um, so Couture was really trying to carry that offense, and this was a big game for the Blues. Game three, though, uh, the Sharks come out again in St. Louis, and they get the win again. St. Louis uh, could have taken, a, could have came back. They had the momentum going back to St. Louis, but San Jose um, shut the door once again, take, took a 2-1 series lead, and um, they looked like they were in uh, control going into game four, but St. Louis, again, comes back. And throughout this series, it was a pattern. San Jose had a couple chances to really put St. Louis away, and they just didn't capitalize. It looked like they were allowing St. Louis to come back into the series, while St. Louis... Um, they had a couple chances, even throughout the games that they lost. They had, there was a couple opportunities where I thought, okay, they can take the lead here, and this could, series could have been over much faster than it was. Going into game four, St. Louis bounces back. San Jose doesn't close the door this time, and St. Louis ties the series. Uh, game number five, in my mind, is what changed this series. This game really showed how tired San Jose really was, and um, they, the Blues really took out and injured a lot of their big players. They were hitting Eric Carlson throughout the whole series. It looked like they were really targeting him. They must have known he was already battling an injury. They took him out in Game 5. They also took Hurdle out and Joe Pavelski. I felt bad for Pavelski. I think this was his third injury over the postseason, so he was definitely beat up. Um, and again, that older core just looked tired and fatigued. I don't think now they'll have another chance to win a cup for a long time. Now, this was their year. St. Louis was just a stronger team. And even this year, San Jose just looked a bit too old to keep up with the Blues. Game 5, San St. Louis just demolished San Jose in all aspects of the game. And then they finished them off in Game 6. Um, if I was a Sharks fan, again, I would definitely be disappointed. Uh, another close year for them. They just couldn't get it done. Uh, Joe Thornton, I don't know 
if he's retiring this year. Um, I could easily see it happen. I think uh, this could be the year a guy like Pavelski, uh, sorry, uh, Thornton does retire. And guys like Pavelski, they're signed, I believe they signed him again. I'm not 100% sure. All I know is his contract did expire at the end of the year or does. I'm not sure if they re-signed him yet. But uh, Pavelski, Burns, um, some of these guys are definitely getting older and um They've got a couple of UFAs that they might not be able to re-sign um, uh, going into next season. So San Jose, it was a fantastic season, great regular season, great postseason. Again, you were a top three team pretty much. I would say they definitely finished ahead of Carolina if you want to look at that way. Uh, if I was a St. Louis Blues fan, I would be unbelievably happy right now going to the Stanley Cup Final for the first time since 1970. It's been 49 years to be exact, and they're going on to face the Bruins yet again. Um, I'm going to be doing a Stanley Cup Finals preview later tonight, so stay tuned for that one. St. Louis Blues versus the Boston Bruins. The Blues, your work's not done yet, but congratulations, making the Cup Final, winning the Western Conference in a conference where I don't think anybody picked you, especially at July, June, uh, July 1st. January 1st, I don't think anybody picked you. Dead last in the NHL, 31st to um, winning the Western Conference is a major accomplishment. Thank you guys all so much for watching the episode. Make sure you guys go stay tuned for the Stanley Cup Finals uh, preview. Boston, St. Louis, it's going to be a fantastic, uh, fantastic series. Can't wait. We'll see you guys all in the next episode.